All right, so you're an architect and you're looking at putting together this architecture marketing plan and building your funnel. But in order to even get that started, we have to understand how do we generate new leads. So as an architect today, how do you go about generating brand new leads? So I mentioned in a previous video about utilizing your existing lead database or your existing contacts that you can enroll in a re-engagement campaign. It's a great place to start. Other than that though, let's say net new leads, brand new contacts that we need to reach out to and start to fulfill um, or start to fill our own marketing funnel with. So what do we do? The first one is obvious, it's word of mouth. It's referral network. It's who do you know that knows somebody that knows somebody. This is essentially the old school way of architecture marketing. This is the way that, again, people used to go and rely so much on shaking hands on the golf course in order to get a deal done. So you'd spend an exorbitant amount of money on country club memberships every year, which are just completely unnecessary today. However, it is still a very viable way to do business. It's still a very possible way of knowing a guy who knows a guy who knows a girl that is the leader of an association and they need a new building, right? So word of mouth is still, referral marketing is still um, very, very important and you don't wanna lose that. The next is what we've been talking about so far. So inbound marketing, the world of organic search results. How do we make sure that we, when people are looking for something online, that we can fulfill them? And so I would make sure that, as we had discussed, you have lots of content on your website that is um, answering problems and fulfilling the goals that people have as they're seeking out a solution. In a previous video, we gave a pretty detailed example of a brewery, an architect who focuses on breweries, um, and, and a, a person who owns a brewery running through their funnel through an organic situation. And that stuff happens all the time in other industries uh, outside of architecture. We just have to bring that into the world of architecture and let, let people know that this is how um, a very viable funnel is built through organic search results. The next is using LinkedIn. I think LinkedIn is a very, very good option for generating new leads. Oftentimes we're connected with a lot of people already. And so um, a lot of people think social media is dead for posting organically, um, which means it just shows up on its own. They want you to buy ads on Facebook and buy ads on Instagram. You can buy ads on LinkedIn as well. Um, but uh, for right now, where it's at, 2019, 2020, the most bang for your buck of, of where you should spend your time for organic posting is LinkedIn. So if you have a large network on LinkedIn or you're growing your network on LinkedIn, you should be sharing all those blogs that you post on your website about, let's say, your brewery design trends or the things of you need to know or stay away from when you're developing your next design, um, those should be shared organically on your LinkedIn profile so that people just naturally find them and they're gonna gravitate to them as they're scrolling through the feed. They're going to see your post showing up time and time again, which is gonna help them um, understand more about what they should be doing in their own world. And then the next one that we want to focus on is in mail. Um, if you're going to actually spend money and, and try and do some kind of ads or advertising, please don't go and sponsor a kid's t-ball team or pay for that banner in the in the um, basketball goal for the local high school that's not that's not a good spend there's no uh, there's no way to track what that revenue or that that money that you're spending is going to and if it's actually delivering you any results in the back and odds are it's not um, it's a good thing to do if you just want to be a good person so that's fine but if you're actually trying to look at lead generation from your ad spend um, um, I think InMail is a very, very smart way to go. Um, InMail is essentially sending messages to people that meet a specific criteria so you can make a list of job titles and industries and cities and gender and all these different things about this criteria of a person and send them a personalized message. Um, maybe it's around an upcoming webinar that you have. Maybe it's around a checklist that you want to offer. Maybe you're giving away assessments for budget planning and uh, for, for their next project. And you can send them the personalized message that goes directly to their inbox. The next one, um, and I think kind of all ties, ties everything back, is speaking at conferences. This is a huge lead generation opportunity. 
Um, people want to work with thought leaders in the space. People want to know who those thought leaders are. And so if you can get to speak at conferences and present your own trends and what you're understanding, you're essentially stepping out in front of the competitors um, and being the leader in, in the space. So uh, we've been using breweries as an example for this series, but there, there's a craft brewery, craft brewery conference um, in San Antonio, Texas. And it's the largest um, gathering of craft brewers from across the country and some uh, throughout the world. And so what a great opportunity if you des working on design trends for the breweries in 2020 to present your findings and what's happening and, and what you're noticing um, in that world as a designer. And so these are the things that I would do um, if I was an architect looking to generate leads, I would tie everything back to your website. Make sure even though you're relying on the organic portion for inbound, that website still serves a pur purpose as a lead generation opportunity. So send people to your website when you're speaking, send people to your website when you're just having conversations, um, and then make sure you're linking back to it in all of your social media advertising.